Hey guys, Joel here, Grey Wolf TV, and we are back with another episode of Stranger Things. We are on episode four. So, a quick recap. On the last episode, we found a few little bits of information out about Elle and her time in the government facility and what they've been doing to her, trying to bring these latent abilities out. I'm presuming that's what it is. I, don't, I still don't know whether they've made it this way or she was born this way. It tends to suggest she was born this way and that's why they're doing their experiments. Um, the bad news is right at the end of episode three, we do seem to have found Will's body at the um, quarry. So I'm not quite sure about that because everyone else seems to believe that Will's still alive, but a body would suggest otherwise. So anyway, we're gonna find out. And thank you to everybody who watched the previous episodes and all the comments that you guys put down for me. Uh, continue to do so. I would like to hear all your thoughts and all your suggestions, and we'll have a, a reaction to it afterwards. So this is episode four. Uh, Last thing any parents want to hear. Boys, do you understand what I'm saying? No. She's not going to accept this, is she? Whoever you found is not my boy. It's not Will. He was hiding from that, that thing. The thing that came out of the wall, the thing yeah. that chased you. God, I, I need you to believe me. Come on, keep digging. You were following evidence, you were following the trail. Keep following it. Maybe you thought you were helping, but you weren't. You hurt me. Do you understand? He's just grieving. It's not Will. Trying no. to prove it to him. <sighs> what the hell is going on? Was that? Was it? Well. Oh. Where's Gary? Man, I thought you knew. Those men from state, they, they sent Gary home last night. What? So who did the autopsy? Someone from state. Why didn't they want the normal guy doing the autopsy? But that is not my son! Joyce, wait a second. Mom. No! Mom! Ma'am! I, oh. ma I think somehow she's channeling him. Like, like she's a conduit. Are you actually believing this crap? I don't know. I mean, do you remember when Will fell off his bike and broke his finger? He sounded a lot like that. They pulled Will's body out of the water. He's dead! Well, maybe it's his ghost. Maybe he's haunting us. It's not his ghost. So how do you know that? I just do. Are oh, they gonna... They're gonna dress her properly. No, don't put makeup on her. She's too young. <laughs> oh. It looks okay. Wow. Not brilliant. She but... looks pretty. Good. You look pretty good. Yeah, you got the hearts for her. Alright, what are these gits up to? Look in there, son. They're sending him in? Right, that's what the cable was for. We saw them bolting it down. I think you just send this dude to his death. He's probably not going to come back. 
screw that. See you, dude. You went back and saw a bear, you think? I don't know. Did she say a bear? I think... I think maybe it took Barb. And no car. What? Look, we figured that Barbara came back last night and then she took off, went somewhere else. Has she ever talked to you about running off, leaving town, maybe? No. Because she saw you go up to Steve's room? It wasn't like that. Like what? Steve and me, we're, we're just friends. We, we just talked. Now, is this before <sighs> or after you changed out of your clothes? Yeah. You're a teenager, we know what happens. Never seen that many troopers come with a body before. I told you that they were going to take care of the autopsy, huh? Yeah. Claim jurisdiction. Kick me out. Well, Why? it all seemed a bit over the top to me, considering. Uh, considering what? Considering this was Will Byers and not John F. Kennedy. This is just an isolated incident. State Trooper David O'Bannon, thank you so much for your help. Boys? Uh oh! Hey. Busted. Assembly's about to start. We know. We're just, you know, upset. The Heath kid is all yours for the rest of the day. What do you say? Oh, I don't believe we've met. What's your name? Eleven. Eleanor. She's my uh, cousin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, welcome to Hawkins Middle, Eleanor. I wish you were here under better circumstances. Thank you. You lied to the police. I didn't lie. How naive do you think I am? You exactly. Think we're just talking? We slept together. Is that what you want to know? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. No. It is all bullshit. It has nothing to do with Barb, and she's missing. It's something terrible happened to her. I know it. I know it. Come on, it's like four pieces. Five pieces. That's the crappiest attempt to put a photograph back together I've ever seen. right in the corner of the camera. Damn, he did pick it up. Shepard, come in. Over. Knock it down, sir. Shepard, come in. Over. I think your man's a goner. And his friends hey. who are like jerks. Troy. Hey, Troy! You, you think this is funny? Would you say, Wheeler? I, I saw you guys laughing over there. Will's in fairyland now, right? Flying around with all the other little fairies, all happy and gay. <laughs> la, 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 la. Son of a bitch. Dead, Wheeler. Dead! Uh-oh. Oh. Dude, Troy beat himself. Oh, my God. <laughs> Holy shit. Shit. And she was there one second, and then, um... Gone. Gone. I figure she bolted. The cops think that she ran away. I'm so sorry. What do you look like? What? This man you saw in the woods. What do you look like? It was almost like he, he didn't have. He didn't have a face. He knows. Oh my god, she's put it through the loudspeaker. Will! Will! I'm here! I'm here! I am so confused. Will! Will! It's us! Are you there? Can you hear us? We're here! Hello? Hello? Ooh, look at the wall!
Yeah, I just got off the line with O'Bannon. He said that he needs to see you at the station in some emergency. What the hell are you talking about? I don't work with O'Bannon. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Just punch him in the face. <laughs> that works. Terrible lie. Just do it. What the fuck? What's that, Carl Wall? Why? He wouldn't even weigh enough with that stuff. This is getting really good. Hope he's gonna break in. Yeah, you do. Okay, so we've established Will is definitely not dead. That's a fake body. New straight away, the minute he pulled him out of the freezer, there was no Y incision, so there's no autopsy been done. Mainly because you can't do one, because there's nothing in there other than wire, whatever it is, wire wool or cotton or, or um, insulation that you're using, like sofas, it, whatever it is. That wouldn't make the body weigh enough. Is that why they weren't allowed anywhere near it? Including the um, guy who was supposed to do the autopsy from the town. <sighs> so at least Hopper now knows that the body's fake. So he is heading straight for that facility. He wants to know more. He's probably going to get caught, I presume, because of a lot of security for obvious reasons. But at least he hasn't just done what a lot of sheriffs would do and go, kid's been found dead, case closed, move on. So that's good. Um, this show is starting to get a very X-Files feeling to it, but set in the 80s. It's like pre Mulder and Scully. I, I'm really, really enjoying it. It's really good. Uh, the further in it's getting, the more entwined the story's actually becoming. Because the minute you've got this government um, facility that's involved with all in this, there's so far you can go with this. Um, not just this one story. I'm presuming when we get on into later seasons, this is going to continue because it's a huge um subject matter to be able to write a story to l that guy cancer man whatever he's called had a reading into the mind of the guy who was in another room in the facility reading out random words and delving into his mind that's a mental telepathy ability that she's got there. I have a feeling they are after, I mean, I said they were after using her as a weapon anyway, but I think the type of weapon they're after is infiltration. I think they want, this is the 80s we're talking about here. So we are still like that with Russia, with the Ruskies, as we call them by then. Um, I think that they, they want to turn her into literally a translation machine for any important people that they want um, information on that where they want to get. But basically, they want to turn into a spy without her actually being a spy. She doesn't need to be there. She can just use this. I might be wrong, but that kind of looks what they're wanting from her. An infiltration unit. How has she made that kid, the idiot kid who was laughing, pee himself so she can even have control, uh, not just like being able to kill someone on command, she can have control of things like your bladder. That takes some serious skill, power, whatever it is you want to call it. Um. Even the rest of the kids now, Lucas and the other guy, the other lad, are now coming around to the fact that Will isn't dead. She's proved it to them. They've now heard him. So they're on the case. So we're actually getting a culmination now of all the kids know he's not dead. Elle knows he's not dead. His mother doesn't believe he's dead. 
Um, the sheriff now knows that's not his body. And the girl and Will's older brother are now starting to piece together as well with the aid of the photograph that she found that something else is gone as well. At the same time of trying to figure out where Barbara's gone. But as soon as he said, it hasn't got a face, she's like, how do you know that? So he knows his mum's not crazy. So I'm presuming as we're leading to the next episode now, it's going to be literally a group of all of these people trying to push forward on trying to find out more about the facility and where the hell Will's gone. The wall that... Her mother's his mum's just basically chopped down with an axe we could see him through the wall it was like a living breathing entity the wall and then when she chopped through it's just outside he said we heard him say something like um it's still home here but it's what did he say was it? it's dark and something or else and it, it's not safe it's dark it's like home but it's not it's another dimension. Clearly, it's either another dimension or it's a parallel universe. It's one or the other. The fact that there's a creature living in it, I would say another dimension rather than a whole other world. Um, and it lives there. Must do, clearly. That's why the minute she chopped through the wall or she sees his daylight, stands to reason. I think I'm right with this. I'm, I'm usually quite perceptive at figuring things out quite early. I may be completely wrong. Who knows? <laughs> uh, that was a very interesting episode. I really enjoyed that. That was good. That's given us a lot more to go on than we had at the le end of the last episode. Hmm. Um, is there anything else? Let me think. Um... His two deputies still are trying to fob her off that Barbara's just run off. But she now knows that's not the case. Her mum's pissed at her because she slept with her boyfriend. But that just needs to get swept under the rug because there's far more pressing concerns here. Hmm. That was a thoroughly good episode. Right, guys, uh, as usual, if I think of any more or I feel it's relevant to add it to the end of the video, I will do. We will be back with episode five later in the week. Uh, until then, like, share and subscribe. Post your comments down below. Let me know what you're thinking. And I will be back very shortly with the next one. Also, don't forget, I do also have a patron. The link will be in the description if you want to be able to see the full uh, reaction video to this the full 42 minute uh, episode you can head over to my uh, patron and you can see it over there as well so because obviously they have to be cut down to 10 minutes or less on youtube right that's it i'll be back with episode five very shortly guys till then see you later